friends this is leela welcome to my channel leela web dev in this video we will learn about the concept that is nothing but critical rendering path so what is this critical rendering path and let's try to learn in this video we have learned a lot about the process of the data and how browsers follows the series of steps to display onto the screen so these are all the process we have learned in our previous videos I want to show you how the browser goes from the source HTML document to displaying a styled and interactive page on the viewport. So this is the thing. So now if I show you practically, then you can be able to understand the exact thing. So how the browser goes from the source HTML document to displaying a styled and interactive web page. So this is our sample HTML document. So doc type html and these all the things is sample html document we will be referring the entire process as the critical rendering process but the most correct terminology is to call it as the critical rendering path so this is the thing so we call it as then critical rendering path right now we will see how critical rendering path looks like at a very high level we'll try to see it so the first stage involves a browser parsing the document so at the top you will be able to see the html document and your html to determine what will ultimately render onto the page the second stage involves the browser performing the actual render what will happen with the above source page html page the first step is for the render engine to parse the html document So it will parse the HTML document and convert the code into a DOM nodes in a tree called the content tree. Here actually it's a render tree. So here what is what I am trying to say is the HTML document what it is there. So the rendering engine will parse the HTML document and convert the code into a document DOM nodes. But at the same time the engine will also parse the style data. So when this HTML document is parsing the engine also the rendering engine also parses the style data that is nothing but css the styling information together with the visual instructions in html will be used to create another tree that is nothing but the css arm tree finally the dom tree and the css tree are combined to form the render tree so here i am trying to say so first the html parser will parse the html and it convert it to dom Simultaneously, the style data also will be parsed by the rendering engine to convert it into a CSS ARM. So these two trees can finally forms the render tree. So that is our goal. Our goal is to get from the HTML which you see to the render tree. So our goal is this is the HTML and we need to construct the DOM and CSS and we need to generate the render tree. And to get to that in state, both the DOM and the CSS ARM has to be created. The next goal is actually displaying the data onto the screen. So render tree is created and now we need to display the data onto the screen. In our case, the HTML, we got the H1 tag which contains the content critical rendering path and that needs to be displayed on our browser. So that is the thing. How does this happen? After the construction of the render tree, it goes through a layout process. We know, right? Layout process and also last one is the painting process. So the next process is the layout process. This means each node, the next, this means the each node, the exact coordinates which should appear on the screen. And the next stage is the painting. The render tree will be traversed and each node will be painted using the UA backend layer. And it is important to understand that the entire process is gradual so the entire process what you are trying to see is gradual one by one it will do for better user experience the render engine will try to display content on screen as soon as possible it won't always wait until the html is parsed before starting to build and layout before starting to build and layout the render tree parts of the content will be parsed and displayed while the process continues and the rest of the content keeps coming from the network and this whole process is called as a critical rendering path and it is important to understand in order to become a better developers so this is all about the critical rendering critical rendering path so what is this critical rendering path what i am trying to explain you is 
the source HTML which you are having. So first the rendering engine will parse the HTML and it will convert it into a DOM tree. And also by simultaneously the CSS data, the styled data is also converted into a CSS DOM tree by the rendering engine only. Both the DOM tree and CSS tree when it is created. So then the render tree will be created. So in order to create the render tree, we need to have the DOM and CSS be ready. So after creation of this render tree, now the layout process occurs. The layout process will try to understand so where the each node in the viewport should exactly fit. It will determine the position of those all the things. After finishing of the layout process, now the painting process goes on. So now the delay, the, now the position has been declared by the each node and the things uh, will be going on painting one by one. This is how actually the display of the how this is how actually the browser functionality works. And these all the process is gradual. So parts of the content will be parsed immediately. The layout will be determined and it will be painted. So like this. So it will not wait until the total HTML is parsed and total CSS arm like that. It will not do. So the part will come. It will try to decrease generate render tree and it will paint it. And again from the network again another part of HTML will come. Again it will generate the render tree and it will paint it on the screen. So like this, this process will be going on. So this is all called as a critical rendering path. So it is important to know about this one. Why? Because in order to become a better developers, we need to understand the concept of this critical rendering path and how the browsers try to display the data onto the screen. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.